Winter is very difficult for me mentally. I broke down emotionally and I just want to be more grateful. I want to be more present um, in life with my kids, with my husband, with my family, and with what I do. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, you know when you're just walking and then you get all these thoughts and you just need to get them out? And that's why I'm like, I look like shit. I just came back from the gym and I went really quickly to do some grocery shopping. But this weekend was really heavy emotionally for me and really stressful. And I know a lot of people are going through a lot right now and the world is crazy. Um, and I know seasonal depression is a thing because I see a lot of people post about it and I go through it um, and I'm just trying to be grateful. Like I'm just trying so hard to be grateful. Like I'm literally gonna start crying now. Um, I deleted Instagram because it's just too much for me. Throughout the year, mentally it's really difficult for me like i just you know i am i'm an anxious person <sighs> i've dealt with depression i've dealt with so much things so much like mental load um and then being a parent on top of that is not easy and i was trying to be more present on instagram because i enjoy instagram or i used to enjoy instagram like sharing my journey with everyone and helping other people and helping especially like parents and people that come from like a non-technical background and like breaking into tech and like i enjoyed that but now i feel like instagram is just too much for me like i I cannot handle it, so I deleted the app. I didn't delete my account, but I deleted the app. And I mean, I probably won't use it for the rest of the winter um, because like I said, winter is very difficult for me mentally. Um, this weekend was a lot for me and I broke down emotionally and I just want to be more grateful. I want to be more present um, in life with my kids with my husband, with my family, and with what I do, um, and just try to enjoy life more and live the little moments because you don't know, you never know. Um, so that's, that's just a quick little talk at the beginning of this vlog. Um, yeah, let's all try to be, to be more grateful. Um, like I said, I just came back from the gym, so I'm gonna get some breakfast and get to work. And as you can see, I'm drying some clothes there. And uh, my, my desk is a mess. <laughs> so we're gonna get some breakfast. We are going to get our life together. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all.
everyone so i've had breakfast and i'm ready to jump into work one thing that i'm really grateful for is that i love my job i love the work that i do i love coding i love problem solving i love everything that comes with my job so i'm so grateful for that because i know there's a lot of people around the world that do jobs and that work in a field or something that they don't necessarily enjoy so i am really grateful for that the only times that i feel i guess ungrateful is when my job interferes with how i am as a mother and as a part as a as a wife as a family member as a daughter anytime that my job interferes with my personal life it's really stressful um but i like to keep that apart i don't like it to to have it affect if there's ever a time where i have to choose between getting work done and being a parent a lot of the time i choose being a parent whether that is my son or my daughter have an event at school or just anything family related is going on i'll call off from work or i'll say you know i'll stay up later and i'll get that work done once the kids are sleeping and i'll you know make sure that i'm at my kids event so i'm really really grateful that i have that we're gonna get into work we're gonna get into getting things done last Last week we had a big last week was really heavy I had a lot of work because we had a big release for a lot of features a lot of updates so a lot was being pushed out and this week Monday we're trying we're doing like a regroup of like tasks and what needs to get done especially of like um, focusing and prioritizing what needs to get done from now until the end of the year slash january 1st january 2nd the first week of january what are like the priorities and what needs to get out and done so that's what we're going to be focusing on that's what i need to focus on and what i need to do um today and this week apart from like actually getting things done and getting tasks done it's a lot of prioritizing and that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to get some hours in right now just sit here and like work and then before i pick up my kids it's still early so before i pick up my kids because this weekend was so heavy on me mentally and emotionally and i do feel drained even though i wasn't working like i mentioned in the previous clip during the winter i just feel very like mentally and emotionally drained um so i really try to give myself the time to recharge mentally physically emotionally something that i noticed a lot actually is that when i don't feel my best mentally and emotionally and physically is when i'm less grateful is when i when i look over like small things and you know stress over small things and 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 don't realize that i need to be grateful you know for for the small things for health for having a roof over my head for having a job there are people that don't have jobs i like to take the time and today i'm going to take the time in, even if it's just literally 30 minutes to like you know leave a little bit early and go for a walk in nature or sit down and enjoy a good book drink some tea or some coffee and just relax um and just do something that is not gonna stress me or like stress my mind a lot and i feel like it's so important especially if you're working in tech because tech is really heavy mentally as you all know um i'm sure other jobs are as well but i feel like in other areas you um jobs affect you in dif different ways coming from like an education background like working with children um as a teacher previously it was also really heavy mentally but as well as really heavy emotionally so that's that part and of course there's people that have jobs that are really fixed physically tasking but when you're working in tech there the job is very mentally taxing so i like to do things that relax my mind and that includes reading and especially reading fiction i do like reading self-help books but i feel like they don't relax my mind when i read self-help books or something intellectual like it just gets my mind going again so i am not going to be doing that um so we're going to get some work done and then we're going to take literally 30 minutes to sit down have a nice drink and just 
read before we go pick up the kiddos and then get into mom mode <laughs> so that's the plan for today so let's get into some work and let's get things done <music>
always takes too long, yeah too long, I ain't got all weekend